Hello everyone, welcome back in this video. I will um, I'll be using something a bit different from Lego today. Um, there are some new um, mini collectible toys out called Micro Toy Box. Basically they are basically micro versions of the uh, of toys of, of toys from uh, toys from the past. So basically you get a little box like this, and as you can see, you've got Starscream in there, he's a transformer, a Decepticon transformer for anyone who isn't familiar. You get a package like that, you get one on the top that you can see, and then and then you get another four mystery ones in the box. They have done this before with like mushy monsters and stuff like that, but they, they're obviously going to be slightly, on a slightly different, different scale. So I'm going to open up four of these boxes and just see what we get. So, first one I open up, we have, obviously we have Star Scream on the top. Some little, so the little plastic packaging. And then the packaging on the back is very authentic. Uh, you can't really see that. I will do some photos. And you get a mini star screen figure, which is really, which is quite cool. And it actually opens up and you can take it out of the packaging as well. And you get a little star screen figure as well. That is really cool. That is seriously cool. I'm going to stick that back in the packaging for the time being. They have put a picture of Optimus Prime on the box, which is a bit of a swizz, really. I didn't see that, but we'll let that sort of be. Yeah, it does say it does. It does actually say Starscream on the packaging. So what we'll do? We'll open the box up and see what else we got in the bottom of the box. And everything else in the box is actually um, in little bags, which is quite exciting. So we'll, we'll see what we've got. You can generally feel, you can feel the bags and, and so we'll open this up. This might be a Care Bear, I think. So, oh, the bags just tear, that's good. Don't need scissors. Oh, maybe you do. I'm gonna use scissors on these. The bags, they've got a little cup a bit here. You have a teddy bear. Not very exciting, does look like, does look like Rupert from Family Guy. We'll put it up there. So we've got star screen. Oh, and we might have a checklist. Is this, I feel, I'm just wondering if we've got a checklist in the bottom here. I've never opened these before, so. We have, yeah, a teddy bear, Red Ranger. Duke from, there is a checklist here, which is actually quite good. Now I've got the checklist, I can suss out what, I can take a better idea, I can take a better guess at what we've got. Open up the next one. We have a pack of Uno, a mini pack of Uno cards. Really cool. Stick that in there. I'm gonna try and feel this one and guess which one this is. It's round. I will say it's a it could be a Hot Wheels rally cage, or it could be a Duncan Yo-Yo. Well we'll find out. Yes, it is a mini Duncan yo-yo, mini Duncan Imperial yo-yo. For anyone who actually remembers, um, um, actually remembers from back in it, Duncan was a really good yo com company that made really good yo-yos. Got one more box here. This is a square box, a thin square box. So um, I'm going to have a guess at Monopoly. No, it's toss a, a game called Toss Across. It looks like a, ver, ver, a variation of noughts and crosses. I'm not sure if there's anything actually in the box. No, it's just a bit of plastic with some wrapped around, but 
Okay, little game called Toss Across, which is quite cool. Never heard of it, but, so you get five things like that in it. So it looks like the other things you get probably aren't quite as good. They put, they put the good stuff on the top of the boxes. Right, we'll open up the next box, so which looks like it's got a Duke figure in it from G.I. Joe. We'll open up the second box. Got a Duke, a mini figure of Duke from G.I. Joe. Not a bad little approximation on the back of the card. They could put some, they could have put all the figures on the back of it. Um, it's, n it's not too bad. I would, it would be nice if they put some other like figures in with it, but but the actual art, the card art on there is actually quite good. So there we have Duke from GI Joe put in down there. Let's see what's in the rest of the box. This has got a clear a clear plastic bit on the top there. Oh, we got a Hot Wheels car, definitely. We know this is a Hot Wheels car. It's going to be. It's the. Wheels Mick Rig, which uh, is that one there. It is quite cool, and you can take it. It might come out of the packaging, so I'm just trying to take it out. The wheels don't go around on it, so, so it's basically a mini Hot Wheels car, which is actually which is which is actually quite cool. So we've got a mini Hot Wheels car there. Got another one which is a cube, which could make it oh, and you can get crocodile dentist in this gate in this in these mini sets as well. Oh, it's a Rubik's Cube, I should have guessed that. Basically, they've got a plastic cube, they've got six on, and you've got a Rubik's Cube. Quite cool. Open up the next one, see what we got. This is probably another Duncan Yo-Yo. So, probably not gonna open that one, because I might do anyway. We'll see what we got, so. Yes, it's another Duncan Yo-Yo, so. It'd be interesting if they actually work as Yo-Yos, but it probably won't because the weight, they'll probably be weighted wrong, so. And this could be another toss across game, so. And it looks like it's been opened, slightly opened already. And it is, yeah. I'm not sure how they managed that, but another toss across game. Can't work that one out, but got two more boxes to open. We'll see what we get. We have a He-Man figure, a mini He-Man figure, and he actually comes with a mini sword and a mini um, shield, which he can probably hold by the, I don't know if he can hold it or not. That'd be an interesting thing. Looks like he might be able to hold the sword and the shield. So it comes with a mini sword and shield. So quite, this is actually quite impressive actually. So here we have our He-Man figure in its, in its packaging. Quite cool. We'll see what the rest of the stuff in here is. Put the rest of these in here, just to keep it tidy. So 
So this is a round, it's either the Lincoln Logs or a Tinker Toy. Never heard of either, either one of them, so we'll see what we've got. It is a Tinker Toy, which is like a mini, it's kind of like Bol um, Bolton Build used to be. It doesn't open up, it is pretty solid. So basically it's a big tub of um, building building material. So not bad. We'll see what we got next. What we have next is, I'm not 100% sure on this, so I'm gonna open it up and find out. Oh, it's, oh, I know it is. It's a little people fire truck. A very little people fire truck. Basically, they made a mini version of the little people fire truck from Fisher Price. They can go in there. Next one could be. Got a curve on it. I think I have to open this one up to find out. Apparently, I've got a, um, the Rubik's cube is actually rare. Apparently, so I've got one one rare one. So. Oh, I've got the. I seem to have a. I seem to have a rocking horse. Didn't see that one there. And it does actually rock a little bit as well, as you can see. Oh, we have a, another. What feels like a Hot Wheels vehicle. Open this up. See which one it is. Oh, we have the. Blitz Speeder. Looks like that. Quite cool. That's two of the Hot Wheels vehicles I've actually got. Now we've got, um, on the last box, we've got a 1992 bar, mini Barbie on it, which is quite cool. We'll have a look at that. You've got a mini Barbie in the box. It does come out of the box, but... I don't want to damage it too much, so I might try it very carefully. This has been packaged really, really carefully. I shouldn't, probably shouldn't be doing this really, but. And this is your miniature 1992 Barbie, which is quite nice. I wouldn't like to be the person who actually packaged, who packaged these things up in the um, factory, but. I think I've just ripped the box on here a little bit, but hey. So you can, this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually recommend actually taking one of these out of their boxes because it just rips it, to be honest with you. So if you do take it out of the bottom, they're not actually designed for being taken out. Probably put some cell tape on this and give it to my daughter, I think, because. Uh, 
that goes on like that. So we've got a little barbie in a box there. Obviously the top bit is not the way to open it up. Got another four more of these to open. We've got another one of these round tubs. So it's either gonna be Lincoln Logs or Tinker Toy. No, in my luck, it'll be a Tinker Toy, so. No, it is actually Lincoln Logs. It's either a jigsaw or a way to build log, log houses. We have another, oh, maybe not. This is either a Duncan yo-yo or it's a Hot Wheels rally cage. Let's have a look. No, it's not, it's another Duncan yo-yo. They do seem to be in abundance in these things, so. Oh, we do have what feels like a barrel. I'm going to open it up and find out what it is and have a quick look on here, see if I can see. I can't see it, doesn't mean it's not there, so. It is a barrel of monkeys. These are the monkeys you used to be, used to be able to hang up. Didn't see that on here. Oh, there it is. Barrel of monkeys. Getting old, I can't see. Um, next we have... We have another um, Little People fire truck. I'll open it up anyway. Yeah, we've got another Little People fire truck. So these boxes are currently in Audi. At five, Audi are currently selling these at five pound each. I'm not sure how much um, other shops are retail, these are being re, are selling for at the moment. So, I'm gonna put that in a pocket for when I go out and about. I'm not sure how much they're going for in other elsewhere. I think I've broken the Barbie box, which is not that's not a good thing. So probably let my daughter have that and put some tape, a little bit of tape on that. I think. Obviously, the Barbie box is bit, is a bit brittle, so you've got to be a bit careful. But I mean, I mean, overall they are they are quite nice. The the Masters of the He-Man figure is good. There's a Skeletor figure as well, but that's quite rare. The Rubik's Cube is apparently is quite scarce, so that one might be worth something. Got two Hot Wheels, um, a Starscream Transformer, that is good. That is definitely good. The G.I. Joe Duke figure. I'm not sure if, it, if it's meant to come with a gun or not. Probably not, because it's for kids. Though they have given He-Man the sword and the shield, so Maybe, maybe not. But I do like that mini G.I. Joe figure. I do like that. There are there are lots of nice pieces in this set. Too many Duncan Yo-Yos for my liking. But overall, quite happy with that. If you wish to try and get some of these, um, pop down to your local Audi and just and just and just just see if they've got any in there. I mean, at five pound a box, um, if you're um, if you're a bit of a toy collector like I am, they are they are quite fun and quirky little things to have. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, have any comments or feedback in this video, do feel free to add them at the end of the video. Like I said at the start of the video, I do usually do Lego, but I did see these the other day and I thought, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at these and just and, and go from there. So, um, like I say, uh, if you have enjoyed this video, um, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'm on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on one of my upcoming videos.